Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shabira. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas, welcome to DIY Saturday. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. Today, we're not making a mani bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not making a petty bomb. Oh, no, no, no. We're making a bath bomb. Yay! So I'm really excited for this DIY because we are making Lush inspired bath bombs. Now Lush uses one specific ingredient to make their bath bombs very foamy as, as many of you don't know. And this is how they make their bath bombs so luxurious. So uh, on the UK bath bomb, I mean not UK bath bomb, but the UK Lush site, they have this um, bath bomb called Rose Oh God, I forgot the name of it. It's called like Rose Jams, like Rose something. And the bath bomb has like flower petals that come out of it. So this is sort of a mimic of that bath bomb, but not really that bath bomb, if you can say, because ours is gonna be a calendula bath bomb. So because this is a really ingredient heavy, lush uh, style bath bomb, I'm going to stop talking to you about the bath bomb. Okay, you guys, so we're going to make our Calendula Lush Inspired Bath Bombs. And this is going to, I don't want this tutorial to dr be too long or draw out. But for some odd reason, I already know it's going to draw out. So the intro was co cut really short for you guys. So I'm sorry if you didn't get to see me be as lovely as I always am. It's because I really want to get through this recipe because it's a lot of ingredients to go through for you guys. So let's get started. What you will need is about a cup and a half of baking soda. You can use more more or less but you always want to make sure your baking soda is um, the ratios of your baking soda and your citric acid are on point so one cup and a half I'll probably do a few more <coughs> you will need about a cup since we used about one cup and three fourths of baking soda, you will need <clears throat> about a cup of citric acid. You probably cut down a less to a three fourths cup, I would say, but no more than a cup. Now, you will need a half of table, a tablespoon of kale and clay. So let's get our kale and clay. And this stuff is all up my lungs already, you guys. So you wanna use a tablespoon of kale and clay. This is a half a tablespoon. So that's why you see me doing a little more. Now you wanna mix this all together, like so, just to make sure it's really incorporated. Now, I, now we're gonna be working with SLSA. And in the intro, which I did not say, which we didn't get through because this, I, th I feel like this tutorial is going to be really long, is SLSA is, well, sodium lauryl sulfate, which um, Lush uses for their bath bombs, um, uh, makes them really fizzy and foamy and beautiful, and that's the magic ingredient in the bath bomb. But we're going to be using SLSA, which is uh, less harsh. Now, this is my opinion. Uh, I did research, and most people who make handmade bath bombs believe that SLS is a harsher and makes the skin irritate when you put it. I've used Lush bath bombs. I've never felt that way. But if you tell me that it's going to make my skin harsh, then I'm just going to use the natural ingredient. So <laughs> SLSA would be it. And it's sodium lauryl sulfate. That's what it is. Now, this stuff is strong and will go everywhere. So make sure you wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask right now, but I am going to choke up. Let me show you guys how serious this is. This is a double bag that I have this stuff in, two bags, and then the little bag. This is how I keep this stuff. So it's like three bags, you guys. So, <coughs> whew, 
I'm already choking up. So I'm gonna take one deep breath, but we will be using about three tablespoons of this stuff. You do not need a lot of it, just three tablespoons, and you can get it on Amazon.com, but I'm about to hold my breath, so hold on. <gasps> Now I just keep the uh, spoon in there and I don't use anything but the spoon for this, you guys. So, <clears throat> Ooh, this stuff is strong. Um, Should have wore a mask, but if I wear a mask, how am I gonna talk to you guys? So, <clears throat> pardon me if I start coughing. So now you wanna mix this together and get all the clumps out. Now most people strain it through a strainer. You could do that. I really don't normally do that because I just don't need to. I feel like all the clumps could get out with hand. But if you're using SLSA and your allergies are a little worse than mine, you know I tend to like to just conquer everything. So if your allergies are a little worse than mine, just use a mask or hold your breath. Whatever you gotta do is what you gotta do. Once the clumps are all out, you want to take Miracle Glow Oil. Now you can find this at SavvyNaturalista.com. And you wanna put 20 drops of your Miracle Glow Oil into the mixture. Now after you take your 20 drops of Miracle Glow Oil and you add it to the mixture, you wanna add your shea butter. Now I'm using shea butter if you don't want to use shea butter, you don't have to use shea butter. But we're going to start off with one fourth cup of shea butter. Now the recipe I did do before I um, made this recipe, it was about a half a cup, but that could be too oily. Now this mixture is really thick and I have melted it off camera. So it's been sitting in this warm house because the house is pretty warm because I'm keeping it at 80. So the mixture is still melted. But if your shea butter is not melted, just melt it in the microwave well I'm just gonna wait we're gonna hold off on the half a cup so we're gonna hold off on using this we're gonna mix it together just to make sure but before we mix this together we're using a patchouli essential oil because I feel like calendula and patchouli go together so we're using a patchouli essential oil and you know where I got this guys at Walmart Walmart sells essential oils now, you guys. What? Yes. So I'm going to use about five drops of um, patchouli. And patchouli is not for everyone. So if you're not really into patchouli, I suggest you not use it. But I'm sort of like a hippie chick, sort of. So I like it. And you would need about 10 to 15 drops of patchouli. Or five, I think I said. And now I'm going to use, this is a peppermint essential oil, and I'm going to use, and rosemary, and I'm going to use about three, six milliliters of this. Now, if you do not have a pipette and you have no intentions of buying a pipette, I would suggest you use about a half a tablespoon of essential oil blend. If you don't have an essential oil blend, you can use about 20 to 30 drops, but... For all those, um, the measurements are so precise that I am going to actually leave three to six milliliters. This is just for reference for anyone who's going to watch the video through. This is for you. So I want a little more patchouli because ooh, 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 I'm so excited. Now, actually, you guys, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add the color, which I should have did to make it. So you need any type of color you like. If you want to use turmeric, you can use turmeric. Turmeric actually, um, you can use food coloring if you like. But what I learned about turmeric and food coloring is that they actually dry out. They don't dry out the bath bombs, but the color over time is not as 
effective and if you want to save these like over a month the color will not be yellow like the day you made the bath bomb honestly if you're using natural colorants the colors tend to give out in about two to three weeks so that's why we're using uh, micas so we're going to do this and we're going to mix it together and also we're using this beautiful holographic glitter because all lush colors have holographic glitter and I got this on Amazon and the sun is not showing you guys how beautiful this color is but this color is just beautiful and lush bath bombs have glitter and glitter is bomb so you want to mix that together as well and we're going to go with the oil now remember I did do one fourth cup of oil now this, uh, because I don't write the recipe on the blog anymore, I will say this to you guys. Please, 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 please use, um, add your color into the dry ingredients. I just forgot to do it because I was so excited to get to the recipe with you guys. But, uh, because you're not me <laughs> and you're probably won't be doing this for you guys, uh, you know, my, you guys on camera, just... Mix it with the dry ingredients, that way it can incorporate and it won't be as clumpy because this is really clumpy. So this is what it looks like and we're just gonna mix this and mix it until all the color is in. Kinda looks like a yellowish. I really wanted a little more yellow, but I think because I didn't mix it in, it won't look as yellow. Let's see you guys. Look how beautiful our calendula bath bombs are going to be. So, mix it all together. I'm going to add a little more yellow just to see if it um, is effective. Now, if you... So, one-fourth cup of oil works. So, we don't need that other one-fourth a cup. Because when you're working with oil and bath bombs, you don't want to make... The mixture doesn't need to be, uh, oh, I'm mad because I added that orange. I should have never added that orange. I wanted it to look a little yellow, not orange. But hopefully this is beautiful to photograph for you guys. So, but yeah, you don't want it to be too, um, too goopy because it won't be in your mixture your bath, not your bath bomb molds, whichever ones you use, it may take longer to dry. So that one fourth cup of oil was on the mark. So we're going to put this back in our container because guess what? We don't need it. There we go. So now, where's that glitter? I want to add more glitter because the glitter is just beautiful. And that's what Lush does. They put glitter in their bath bombs just to make them pop. They put a lot of glitter. Using this beautiful glitter as well. Look at you guys how beautiful that is. Oh my God. Oh, this is going to be so cute. My little calendula bath bombs, you guys. Look how beautiful. Look at all that. That is amazing. So, just mix it together. And it's just to add, you know, if you're in the bath. People like sparkle in their bath tubs. And I love to sparkle too. If you guys want to start seeing demos on our Lush Inspired Bath Bombs, please let me know and I'll do just like a demo on the video. But I really don't think people want to see demos if the photos of the bath bomb are beautiful. Now, we're going to add 10 to 20 drops of our Aqua De Rosas. If you don't have Aqua De Rosas, you can use any toner you like. But before we add our Aqua De Rosas, we're going to add the ingredient that is supposed to be. And this is calendula, which is sort of helps the skin um, with dry ingredients. And you, can, you don't have to add a lot. You can add a little. I would say about a tablespoon of it or a pinch. It's up to you. But the way Lush does it, it's like they throw it in there i don't know and it like seeps out at the bottom i don't know how they do it but in my the rose queen bath bomb because lush has like a youtube channel and they have how it is made videos for their bath bombs and so i'm sort of thinking something like this oh we'll see 
So you want to add your 10 to 20 drops of, uh, no, spritz, 10 to 15 spritz of Aqua de Rosas. You don't have Aqua de Rosas, you can find it at SavvyNaturalista.com. Okay, see you guys, Aqua de Rosas. And add 10 to 15 drops. If you don't have Aqua de Rosas, put spray toner in a bottle and you can use spray toner. There we go. Okay, nice. Nice. I really love the glitter. It's looking really beautiful. Now I'm gonna mix this really, really well because um, the key to a good bath bomb is mixing. We create that with glitter. Okay, so I got these molds at Amazon.com. <laughs> you can get molds anywhere. I've actually seen some molds like this at Walmart. And so they have different ends and you just clamp them together. So you don't want to tuck it too much. And then you do sort of like this on one side. Like that like a lot lot and then you mix it together but you want to make sure it's a lot so see this is how it looks look at you guys how beautiful focus okay so does it focus why well, won't it focus me because the glove is on i'm gonna take the gloves off because i need you guys to see how beautiful this bath bomb is so look it focus come on There we go. Look at you guys how lovely it is. So that's what they look like. And that's pretty much how the mixture goes. So what I'm going to do is uh, mold these bath bombs, put them together. And then I'm going to show you what they look like with the final product. So I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm going to mold them all together for you guys. Don't worry, you'll see. It'll look really good. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Boy. Okay, so we're back and I finished putting the bath bombs into molds and they're pretty much done so I really want to show you guys what they look like now I will say this if you live in a dry climate like I do Arizona specifically a desert you may want to add just a little more toner I used aqua de roses because they will crack and specifically that's if the moisture um they will crack if the bath bombs are too dry and not moist enough. So some of mine cracked. Also, this recipe was only for one big bath bomb. You guys can see, look how beautiful. Look at all that glitter. Look, I just got a little cracks because I didn't use enough moisture, but just look how beautiful they are, you guys. So this is a mimic of the Rose Gem Bath Bomb at Lush, and I sort of got it really good. Like you can see the petals come out just like the Lush one, except it's pink. I'm going to try to mimic that one too. And then I have one for big one, and then I did little cute ones. So you guys can see a little cute one I did. Look how beautiful. Look, just look how lovely. And another one. If you guys would like to do demos when we do our Lush Inspired Bath Bombs, I will like me to do it. I will. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in my next DIY Saturday. Make sure you pick up Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!